Intensive ventilation has become the standard bridging measure to ensure oxygen supply and CO2 elimination in acute respiratory insufficiency. Our understanding of this life-sustaining therapy side effects is growing. Adjusting the ventilation settings to the respective clinical situation is demanding and time-consuming. This includes continuously determining the necessary PEEP and the avoidance of end inspiratory over-distension. The effects of pressure and volume on the ventilated lung is associated with ventilator-induced lung injury. We now know that it's not the plateau pressure, but the transpulmonary pressures, which are decisive for the prevention of ventilation-induced lung injury. In many cases, the patient's condition does not allow compliance with lung protective ventilation, such as driving pressure of less than 15 cm water column, a tidal volume of less than 6 ml per kilogram of idealized body weight, and an end inspiratory plateau pressure of less than 30 cm water column. Esophageal and transpulmonary pressure monitoring are now considered bedside methods when classical ventilation settings cannot be maintained. This involves placing a modified gastric tube so that pleural pressures can be transmitted to a balloon sensor and measured. The first available catheters often resulted in compromise and were less suitable for prompt pressure transmission. Löwenstein's PesoCut was specially developed for esophageal and transpulmonary pressure monitoring. Its specially esophageal balloon facilitates an excellent response to rapid pressure changes under ventilation and is designed for the dynamic requirements of transpulmonary pressure measurement. Simplified placement of the modified gastric tube is supported by a special coating. Easier retraction of the insertion wire due to an innovative wire-in-wire -wire solution, so the inner wire can be removed first. This reduces the pressure on the outer wire, which can then be removed more easily in a second step. The integrated NFIT safety adapter allows direct connection to feeding pumps without additional connectors or accidental disconnections during ongoing operation. The combined feeding and emergency channel permits auscultation during catheter placement despite the NFIT connection. In an emergency, this can be used as a direct channel for rapid suctioning or for draining gastric juice. Because of the non-metallic X-ray markings, the esophageal catheter does not have to be removed prior to MRI diagnosis. PesoCut – the key for esophageal and transpulmonary pressure monitoring.